if you are looking for some support for current affairs if you are a fresher you are a working professional you are a repeater but you want some support for current affairs then i have a program for you uh, i have given the uh, brochure and also the uh, announcement video link in the description you can watch if you are interested right class starts from 14th of february friends in today's video we are going to discuss the budget basics part 2 In the previous video, I explained about what is budget, what is economic survey, who is preparing this budget, who is approving this economic survey. So all those basics we discussed in the previous video. If you haven't watched it, please watch that budget basics part one. So in today's video, I am going to explain about three important figures pertaining to budget. So if you take budget, you will have three important figures. so what are those figures see we all know about financial year i explained in the previous video so when i talk about or when i say about 2024 2025 budget so that budget year or the financial year starts from 2024 april it goes till 2025 march 31 so it starts from april 1st of 2024 and it goes till march uh, 31st of 2025 so today we are in the month of or we are in january month so let's assume that today is the budget day just for the sake of video assume that i am your finance minister today is 1st of february let's assume so today is 1st of february one finance minister is going to present the budget this budget is getting presented for the future year right today we are in february 1 2024 the budget is getting presented for the upcoming year so for the upcoming year what will be the revenue what will be the expenditure that will be estimated it is a kind of imagination that in the coming year i will be getting this much amount of revenue with the revenue i will be doing this much amount of expenditure so budget is an estimate budget is an estimate for the future so budget is an estimate so we call it as budget estimate so what we are going to estimate so we are going to estimate what will be the revenue what will be the expenditure for the upcoming year so finance minister standing on february 1 2024 will be presenting the budget estimate for the upcoming year the upcoming financial year is the budget year so this is one figure this is one data but i said there are three important figures one figure we understood budget estimate for the budget year now the next question is sir how this is arrived based on what information the government will know that this will be the revenue this will be the expenditure how the government is able to predict based on what factors they are able to predict so government will calculate this budget estimate by taking the data or the trend from the previous two years so let's say for me okay guna i teach in offices ias academy i will plan okay in the upcoming year what will be my revenue i have to buy a car i have to uh, gift uh, uh, presents for my uh, relatives so i have some commitment okay this much revenues okay i will be having this much batches uh, for my current affairs course i will be getting this much money right and i will be doing this much expenditure i arrive at this calculation based on my previous experiences that way the government will arrive at the budget estimate by taking the previous years datas previous years datas so previous two years data we will take that is with respect to budget year budget year is 24 25 with respect to budget year we will take the two previous datas that is we will be taking 20 23 2024 data and we will be also taking 2022 2023 data so we will take 23 24 data and we will also take 22 23 data 
So based on these two data, we will be calculating our revenue and expenditure. So today, I said today we are standing in the month of uh, February 2024. Today is 1st February. I am your finance minister. Don't forget. So 23-24, this 23 starts from 23 uh, April. 23 April, it goes till 24 March. Okay. 23 April, it goes till 24 March. And if you take this 22-23, it starts from 22 April, it goes till 23 March. Today, what is the date? Today is February 1, 2024. So, February 1, 2024. Now, if you look at this 2022-2023 financial year, that is entirely over. 22 April to 23 March, that is entirely over. That is complete. So, we will be knowing what is the exact revenue, what is the exact expenditure happened in 22-23. That exact figure we will know. Because today we are in 2024 February. But if you take this data, 22-23 data, that year is entirely over. So, we will know the actual revenue, we will know the actual expenditure. So, that is why here the data which I take will be referred as actuals so with respect to 22 23 i will take the actuals of uh, actual revenue actual expenditure so this is my second data this is my first data and this is going to be my second important data now coming to 23 24 see 23 24 that starts from 23 april it will go till 24 March. But however, we are in February 1, 2024. Today is February 1, 2024. That means this 23-24 financial year is not yet over. If you take the 23-24 financial year, 2023, it starts from April. It goes till 2024 March. So, in between, you have April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. See, Finance Minister is presenting the budget on 1st of February. That means, this two months, what is the revenue, what is the expenditure, Finance Minister will not know. Yes or no? Because Finance Minister is presenting on the budget on 1st of February. What will be the revenue and expenditure on February? What will be the revenue and expenditure for the month of March? Finance Minister will not know. But at the same time, <coughs> you should understand, the budget preparation will not be done on one day before the budget. If I am the Finance Minister, I want to present the budget today. Do you think that uh, one day before I will planning everything, I will be planning everything? For an entire country like India, we have to plan the budget. So, let us practically assume, let us practically assume that at least one month, at least from 1st of January, the finance minister will be involved in preparing the budget. So, during the time of preparation, January 1st, the finance minister is starting the preparation, let us assume. In that case, even January month data will not be available. So, we are assuming that, that assumption is correct for the month of Jan, February, March. What is the revenue? What is the expenditure? Finance minister will not be aware. So for three months, for three months, what is the revenue expenditure? Finance minister will not be aware. But look at this nine months. But look at this nine months. That is April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. That is entirely over. So this entire nine months data, this entire nine months data, finance minister will be having. And this three months data, finance minister will not have. This is the condition for 23-24. If you take 22-23, we are getting the actual data. If you take 24-25, it is completely an estimate. But if you take 23-24, we have nine months data. We are not having three months data. So what shall we do? So what government does is, government will be taking two data. Government will take two datas. What are those two datas? What are those two datas? Let me write here. See, when 23-24 budget was presented, 
when 23 that is last year budget when that budget was presented the then finance minister would have presented the budget estimate that information we will take so we will be taking the budget estimate of 23-24 right see like how we are estimating a estimate for 24-25 like that for the previous budget an estimation would have been done that estimate I will take okay what was the uh, expected uh, uh, revenue what was the expected revenue what is the expected expenditure that estimate we will have right that data also we will take that data we will take and what we will do is see this is complete imagination this is complete imagination because this is budget estimate of 23-24 that is complete imagination previous year we did that we are taking now see we have nine months data nine months is correct data for 23-24 for 2023-24 we have nine months proper data only for three months we are not having exact data but however we have nine months data so what finance minister will do is this nine months data will be taken for this three months alone an estimate will be done nine months exact data will be taken for this three months alone finance minister will estimate so nine months exact data and three months estimated data this nine plus three finance minister will be getting this nine plus three finance minister will be getting a new data that new data when you compare it with this budget estimate when you compare it with this budget estimate this new 12 months data is relatively better because this 12 months is complete imagination but this 12 months this 12 months that is not complete imagination that contains nine months of exact data and only three months of imagination right so that data that data we will be calling it as revised estimate we will be calling it as revised estimate so what we are revising 23-24 we, we are taking the budget estimate that budget estimate is complete imagination but now we are going to write the revenue and expenditure this revenue and expenditure is a revised estimate because we have nine months exact data and three months of estimation put it together we are calling it as revised estimate you will not call it as actuals because only nine months data you have three months is imagination only so we are adding those two and we are saying it as revised estimate so this is the third important figure this is going to be the uh, third important figure that is in any budget document you will find the budget estimate of the budget year you will find the budget estimate of the budget year and you will find the budget estimate and revised estimate you will find the budget estimate and revised estimate of the uh, previous year to the budget and you will find the actuals of the previous to previous year of the budget right so we will find the budget estimate of the budget year right in any budget document and we will be finding the budget and revised estimate we will be finding the budget and the revised estimate of the previous year to the finance previous year to the budget year or we can say we will find the budget and revised estimate of the current financial year anything is fine right because budget is going to be next year right so we can say either budget years budget estimate and the previous years budget estimate and revised estimate and the previous to previous and the previous to previous actuals this is one way of highlighting these three data or there's another way of highlighting these three data what is that we can say you will find you will find the budget estimate of the following year you will find the budget estimate and the revised estimate of the current financial year and you will find the actuals of the previous year either way you can say if you take budget year as the reference then budget year then previous year's data previous to previous year's data that is how you will explain or if you take this current year if you take this current year as a reference point then what will you say in the budget you will find the following year's budget estimate, 
the current year's budget and revised estimate than the previous year's actuals. Right. So these three are the important data which you will see in the budget documents. So here I am showing you the budget sheet for the last year that is for 23-24. For 23-24, right? For 23-24, this is the budget. I am showing the previous year's budget sheet here. If it is 23-24, then we will have three sets of data. What data? This is the budget year. This is the budget year. So we'll be having three sets of data. What is that? For 23-24's budget estimate, we will have 23-24's budget estimate. And what we will have? 22-23's, we will have budget as well as the revised estimate. We will have the budget as well as the revised estimate. And for 21-22 and for 21-22, we will have the exact actuals. So these numbers are pertaining to 23-24 budget. Here what I have written is pertaining to 24, that is 24-25 budget. Okay, that is for the coming budget, you will find these three sets of figures. Here I have given the figures pertaining to 23-24 budget. That is why you see the budget estimate of 23-24. You see the budget and revised estimate of 22-23, you see the actuals of 21-22. So I hope uh, this topic is useful. Uh, this is very important. UPSC has asked uh, questions based on these three set of figures. We should have a proper clarity on what is this actual, what is budget estimate, what is revised estimate. So in the coming videos, I will be explaining about other components. So in the next video, I might explain about budget components. What is revenue budget? What is capital budget? Then in the coming videos, I will be explaining about different deficits. So by the time when I release the next video, the budget will be mostly available. The documents, the sheets will be available. So I will explain with the 24-25 budget itself. Right. So I hope this uh, video series is useful. So I will see you in next video. Till then, bye. Take care.